Every month, we give out our Proud to Serve Award here on Fox 2. Tonight, we honor a woman who knew she wanted to serve her community from a very early age and made that dream come true through hard work and dedication. A police officer with the Sullivan Police Department developed the passion to serve at a very early age, thanks to a very important person in her life. It was just my mom and I pretty much from the age of eight growing up. And so she was a deputy in a small county um, around where I work now. And the holidays, weekends, I was always in the patrol car with her from probably the age of 10 or 12. Emily says the sheriff's office where her mom worked helped raise her. And they were like a family to me, so I knew what I wanted to do since I was extremely young. After high school, her mom had some advice. I went to the Marine Corps immediately. My mom said, go to college or do something because you got to get out of this house. I was stationed in Okinawa, Japan, and I was there for about a year, and then I went to Camp Pendleton before I came back to Missouri. Her dad and brother had also been in the Marine Corps, so it was a family tradition. It's a different kind of brotherhood that... Um, you're never going to find anywhere else. After the Marine Corps, I went to the police academy in Columbia at um, LETI through Mizzou. My mom actually came and taught some classes. It was pretty cool. Her first job was in a small town south of Kansas City. I didn't have any family there and they offered me a take home patrol car and that's what sold it for me. And I started out there and I was on my own on overnights almost immediately. So it was a quick learning process for me. I kind of had to figure it out pretty quickly. Now she's closer to home working for the Sullivan Police Department. I'm not as intimidating maybe as other officers. And so I think it helps me out and it makes people feel more comfortable with me. But the job can still be dangerous. I was searching a person and I got um, exposed to fentanyl and it almost immediately within a couple minutes had me out. Luckily, her sergeant was able to administer Narcan to save her. But for Emily, the bad doesn't outweigh the good. I love seeing people on their on their worst days and being able to make it a little bit better. Desire to help others and hard work. That's what earned Emily Post this month's Proud to Serve Award from Brown and Brown Attorneys at Law. Her passion to help people. And that resonates with us at Brown and Brown because that's what we do every day. In addition to that, just the fact that she has accomplished so much in such a small period of time and has so much more in front of her. And we're proud of Emily as well. And if you would like to nominate a local first responder, active military or veteran for our Proud to Serve Award, you can find a link at fox2now.com.